Okay, one more time out of the Pentonville system. Actually, that's not entirely true. We will come back here one last time. Oh, pirates. I really gotta make friends with these guys. Catch you on the next run. Not looking for trouble, Ace. I mean, I just took off from their base. Can't they tell them? Kind of like you one and you're blind. Got it? Oh, I forgot to buy drugs and slaves. Damn it. Yeah, next time. It's kind of just exciting trying to get away with carrying that stuff is all, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'll get hit by an asteroid and die and have to reload it anyway. I think maybe uh, killing some merchants could make you a pirate. But that doesn't really make you one of them, unfortunately. Oh, no, oh, oh, screw you guys. Dump your cargo before you blow, will ya? Yeah, you're nailed, pal. <laughs> I don't know why they assume I'm already done for when I've lost just a little bit of armor. Yeah, this place is just infested with pirates. It makes it no fun sometimes. Oh, there's four of them as far as I can see there. Are retros, right? Guy. Repent and accept our righteous judgment. You're dead. I'm gonna kill you. is the will of God. It's really satisfying if you can kill them in the middle of their taunts. Get back here. Oy. I hate it when they run away from me. Uh, the retros actually play... Um, a much bigger role in Righteous Fire, which no is the expansion expected. for uh, Privateer. You kind of learn all about their... Uh, that was a stiletto, a confed stiletto we just saw. You kind of learn about their organization and... You don't learn an awful lot more about what they're about as opposed to just their... the fact that they hate technology. No contraband detected. You may proceed. How's it going, friend? Good, thanks. <laughs> Those merchants. I still wouldn't mind, really, killing a merchant every now and then. Taking their cargo. But you just feel guilty about it. I mean, they're so defenseless.
Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and course. No contraband detected. You may proceed. So we're about to meet Roman Lynch, uh, the space going, mafia friend? crime boss. Taylor set up the meeting with him. He has an interest in our alien artifact, so that's why he's agreed to meet us. My name is a killing word. <laughs> I think that might be a Dune reference. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Beautiful new Constantinople. Let's uh, save it here. Don't think I used up any missiles. You know, if you want, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, I think you can put a missile launcher on your tail turret to carry some extra missiles, but, uh, um, I mean, I've never done it. I've never needed to, but I think you can do it. I think in one of these clips for fun, I might just purchase one of these other ships and just show you what it looks like all outfitted and everything. I mean, I'll just save it before I do that, but... Alright, here's Roman Lynch and his bodyguard Migs, who I hate. Let's gossip with the bartender first. Had a treasure hunter here the other day. You know the type. Seems he'd hit it big on an archaeological dig yeah, on I think we've heard him say that before. Now let's talk to Migs. You don't want to talk to me, because ah. I don't want to talk to you. And anyone that makes me do what I don't want to do gets hurt. Pain-wise, get me? Mr. Lynch sitting over there, he's the one you want to talk to. So either state your business, or take a hike, buddy. <laughs> that guy's a perfect stereotype. Alright, Mr. Lynch. Ah, Captain. I've been expecting you. I am Roman Lynch. Mr. Lynch, as you know, what we have to discuss is confidential. Oh, you may speak freely around my assistant, Migs. He is exceedingly loyal. Okay. As Taylor probably told you, I need information on an artifact. What it is, its history, and most of all, its value. Of course. I have examined the holo your associate, Taylor, provided me. I believe I could shed some light on this mystery, given the right motivation. For example, there is a certain pilot who has caused me much professional embarrassment. Could you take care of him for me, Captain? <laughs> you must be joking. I'm no assassin. You want I should take you outside the airlock and teach him how to suck vacuum? <laughs> Gentlemen, please, let us remain professional. I only want you to find the man and deliver a personal message for me. Simply tell him how profoundly displeased and disappointed I am with him. Do this, and I will pay you 10,000 credits as well as investigate the artifact of yours. Agreed. Mm, I don't know. This sounds like an internal problem. Get one of your own people to do it. I go to great lengths for my friend, Captain, but I am not a charity. If you wish to learn about this artifact, you'll have to talk to me sooner or later. Oh, to be honest, I, this mission he wants us to do is... I hate it. I just hate it. Well, if it isn't our pilot, have you reconsidered? I'm waiting to be convinced. Your services are not indispensable to me. However, I'll humor you this time. I want you to fly to the Pendenville system. There you will locate a man named Selig, captain of the Hooded Hawk. I wish you to tell him how profoundly disappointed I am in him. For that service, I will pay you 10,000 credits and provide you with information regarding the object once you return here. So, either accept my deal or stop wasting my time. All right, Mr. Lynch. <laughs> what is that, a payphone? Be on your way then, Captain. Migs and I Seriously, what is that thing? Maybe it's a condom dispenser or something. Um, see, I hate this mission because we have to go back to the Pentonville system again, and the guy he wants us to find, we actually have to just send him a message, and uh, 
and then you have to just land on the pirate base, and that's it. But once you send him the message, he becomes hostile, and him and a bunch of pirates jump you. But the problem is, is you cannot kill him. If you do, you fail the mission. So you're just there to mess with the guy. And then land. And the other reason it bothers me is this, is because look at all these star systems. So there's four different quadrants in the quadrants in the Gemini sector. And yet we have to keep going back to the same ones. We gotta go to Pentonville all these times. We had to go to Troy for Taylor's missions. Uh, it's just kind of annoying. I mean, there's all these other places that you actually will never ever have to go to. Um, and there's not that much difference between them. A lot of these are pretty identical, but still, you would still like to explore them. Um, nevertheless, we have to go back to Pentonville, but this will be the last time. And it's okay, because once I get there, I'm going to buy some slaves and drugs and try to make a little extra money off of it. Yeah, when I first played this game years ago, I kept screwing the mission up because I thought you could send him the message, uh, Captain Seelig, and then um, speed and, and then kill him, but that no contraband fails detected. the mission. You may proceed. There really is a way to align it so you can have the militia and the pirates neutral to you. If I could accomplish that, that would be really nice. That guy's in an Orion. Better clear out. Trouble's brewing. One of the ships that you can buy. Maintain speed and course for contraband uh. search. No contraband detected. You may proceed. You guys need to go fight the war somewhere. During this time, uh, Confed is very much in the thick of war with the Kilrathi Empire. So as soon as we jump into this system, we're going to see Captain Selig and we have to deliver the message. And then we're just going to outrun him and go land on the Pentonville base. Hope I do this right the first time. I've screwed it up before. He flies a crappy town too. There he is, Seelig. I'm looking for a Captain Seelig. Okay, you got my attention. What do you want? Guy looks like a security guard at our hospital. Um, Roman Lynch is very he disappointed is, in me. Want to hear our response? And now I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna tell him yes. He's just gonna keep asking if you want to hear his response. We're afraid to kill pirates, though. So let's take these guys out. Well, here it comes. Hey. Would rather not do any damage to my armor right now. Stop running away from me. Let's see if we can talk these pirates out of a fight. Yes, that's good. Forget this meat happens. We got no problem. But as far as I can tell, Selig is following us. Not looking for trouble, eh? Because you'll notice we have no hostile targets on our screen, but Selig is out there trying to reach us. Who's winning this battle? Maybe the Dreamons are better than I thought. 
I mean, it gotta be expensive for a reason. They can't just be ships with giant cargo holds. I think the Draymond might be considered something of a luxury. Uh, oh, there's Selig. He's coming. He's kind of far away. <laughs> he followed me all the way from the other nav point. Oh, I could just kill you so fast. See, I want to stick around and salvage the cargo that they dump, but Seelix's gonna get here soon, so we just gotta move on. See, he's already got missile lock on us. Oh no, there's all that cargo and I can't get it. Oh, you bastard. See, look, it's totally ruining my salvage opportunity. You're dead, chump. You're dead, chump. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Uh, what you just saw me do there is you can actually request immediate docking before you're within the landing range of the base. I think we got paid. Let's see. As usual, we're just going to do a test save. And I really want to buy some contraband here. I don't know why you hear all this talk of Brilliance, because really when I used to do drug runs, Ultimate always sold better than Brilliance did. I always assumed Ultimate was kind of like heroin and Brilliance was more like cocaine. Let's buy as much as we can. And I'm going to buy Slaves too. Ooh, that's so fun. Let's gossip with the bartender. Sorry, no new info. No. Come on. Alright, well let's head back. Where we have to talk pirates again out of a fight. I didn't see you and you're blind. Got it? I think what's annoying about it is uh, you have to individually send friendly communiques to each one instead of just sending it to one in the whole wing. But if you kill just one of them, uh, then they all become hostile again. Forget this meat happened. We got no problem. All right. Took a bit of damage there from Seelig. Because you're going slow that you don't want to run into an asteroid, but that gives the uh, Talon a really nice shot at you. I think what's useful about this mission is it kind of shows you the manipulative kind of nature of Roman Lynch. He didn't want to kill Selig yet, anyway. He just wanted to mess with him. Because for whatever reason, Selig either failed him or betrayed him. And instead of just killing him right away, he's just going to kind of make him paranoid. I get scanned by militia, they should pick up my contraband, I think, unless it all stays hidden in the secret compartment. Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and course. Contraband detected. All <laughs> units close and terminate. Yeah, I'm gonna take these militia out, because I want to try and get on friendlier terms with the pirates which killing militia will do. So I'm just going to take out this whole wing of militia. If it goes wrong later, I'll fix it, but... Would have been more fun if they were flying the Gladius. You don't see him in the Gladius ships very often, which is kind of disappointing because that ship is unique to them. You get so tired fighting the Talons. I 
should kill that merchant just for good measure, but my cargo hold is full. So, we'll take a break here. When we get back, we're going to finish heading over to New Constantinople. We'll see if Roman Lynch is pleased with us or not. And I'm going to try and sell me some drugs and slaves. So, we'll see you all then. <laughs>